I wouldn't say those kinds of things to the millions of people that watch these videos, you know. You're right. But then again, your mother could never but you're tell always you right. How am I ever going to ever tell me anything? You know, this okay. Stuff, this stuff blew me away. Four-star red blend. I give me this four stars. Couldn't they, couldn't they give them up with a little more interesting name than red blend? I'm giving it four stars, though. Oh, okay, good. I like that. We, we can get rid of the 100-point scale and go with yeah. stars now. Yeah. Good. I'm, 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 just, I'm, look at this. this I know, it's great color. And the I, nose? It's got zin in it, I think, right? I think it's, it's got the smell. It. It's just great. You know, it's really interesting. The, the average consumer, which doesn't know that much about wine, probably not much less than people who think they know a lot about wine, God, so are all look are, are now discovered blended wines. Hey, wow! They want blended wines, you know, like Bordeaux's are a blend, you know, and then and a lot of big name wines now, like Opus One and you know, and the Prisoner are all blends. So they say, oh, I want something blend. I don't want a, one varietal. I mean. Remember the days of the liquor store, the people my dad's shop, it would say 100% Cabernet yeah, on Cabernet Sauvignon, <laughs> exactly, or Chardonnay, or Pinot Noir, Zinfandel, whatever it was. Well, but you've, all, you've always said that the, you know, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, and that's exactly well, right. Well, in some cases it is, but if you're talking about a really great vineyard, of which there are very few in the world, you know, great vineyards that grow one varietal really well year after year, you know, then do it. I mean, you know, and, and then some grapes like Pinot Noir, Usually don't benefit from they being don't blended blend. with anything else, you know. I had a Pinot Noir Syrah blend the other day, and it didn't make any sense at all. No, it makes uh, absolutely no sense. Well, they see they they like to blend Syrah in with Pinot Noir because they want darker color. Yeah, but you know they, the press has told them they the want dark that? color. You know, I mean, yeah, I remember tasting a bunch of Grand Cru Burgundies and Premier Cru Burgundies, and the Grand Cru Burgundies were far superior, and they were all lighter. Well, so, that's that's you know. funny you said that because we went to one of those. Uh, my brother-in-law bought a. Wine tasting at one of the auctions at his school. Oh yeah, and you know what it was? It was Peroth. Oh my God! And they came out and they, they, oh, they volunteered to bring you wines. Oh. Uh, you know, as a wine tasting at your house, but they're really there to sell you wines. And you know, Peroth has expanded into Chilean and all oh, kinds yeah, of stuff, sure, you know, Bordeaux sure. and things. Mm -hmm. And they had a Chilean Pinot Noir, which is pretty unusual anyway. Yeah, very and unusual. It was, it was almost a rosé color. Oh, yeah, I've had them. They're pretty awful. So he brought one to me because he bought some, and I tasted it. I go, there's nothing wrong with the wine, but I said it's light because it is, Pinot Noir doesn't do that great over there. And it, by the way, it doesn't taste like Pinot Noir when they oh, do make it. No so, idea what they do because it does not. This, is, this tastes like whatever it is. It tastes like a red blend. It, it's The components are great. The balance is great. Gorgeous the acid wine. Is great. I mean, the it's flavor. really, really, it's really good. really good wine. You know, $16.99 on the shelf. $8.99 is a reorder price. 95 points for me. I easily. Think it's easily 95. I'm really shocked at how good that the balance is incredible. Yeah, it's quite nice.